Okay, and this is the vocal booth for uh, which room are we in again? Uh, SSL2. SSL2. And a uh, recording session going on here last night. Looks like you've got just like a basic headphone cue system set up with, uh, is this a telephone gun? What is this? Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? This is one of Dave Russell's uh, extravaganzas. This, I've never seen this one with him. Oh, this is uh, the Corby one. It's Corby, okay. Yeah, yeah the modular capsule one, I believe. So, um, haven't seen that one around here very much. But Have you heard it at all? No, I haven't. Oh. I'm sure it sounds fantastic. It, Corby does <laughs> marvelous work, so. They, they do, so I bet it does. What can you tell me about this room? How does how does it sound in here? Um, it's a lot like a lot like four, but a lot deader. Um, you know, it's very woody and kind of a warm sound, but there's not a whole lot of uh, you know decay time to it at all. It's just more for if you were again voiceover type stuff. If you yeah, need a really close like sound. Your drums, like I said before, are actually really sound great and tight in here. They're nice and warm. They're not too splashy there. Yeah, it's a great room for drums. But awesome. back in the good old days when people recorded a lot of live instruments, it was a great thing. So, I bet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This room was a big Guns N' Roses room back in, in the good old days. Um, this room was a favorite. This is where Ron lived um, for five or six years and did all of his work in, so this is one of his favorite rooms. He loved the G-Series console in, in this live room, so a lot of everything that he did vocal-wise was done in here. A lot of the string stuff that he did was done in here, um, so that was one of his favorites. But Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's uh, move on to the rest of the facility. We're at the record plant in uh, Los Angeles, and I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com.